Carrying a firearm off duty is a pretty serious business. In fact, Uncle Mike's took the time talking to officers around the country to develop a holster that was built on gross motor skills. I mean, let's face it, during times of stress, fight or flight sets in and we act in the midbrain under extreme stress. All we're really gonna have the process to do in our minds is to grip, grab, and squeeze that firearm and pull it free to verbally challenge and engage the threat. So I'm talking to you about what's called the reflex holster. In fact, the reflex holster is pretty unique because it comes in a paddle in case you're not wearing a belt or you're in situations where you might have to have a weapon on you quickly but don't have the time to put a belt on. Or you might be a female officer and you're wearing skirts and stuff that don't accommodate that type of clothing. So you have a paddle that you can actually put the holster on and have the reflex on you at all times. It also comes with the belt loop for the one inch dress belt and the one to three quarter inch tactical belt as I'm wearing here. In fact, the reflex holster was designed for you not have to remember about any buttons to push, any levers to squeeze, or any special passwords or codes to remember. You simply have to grip, grab, squeeze that firearm to pull the firearm out to verbally challenge and engage your threat. And when you secure the firearm back inside that holster, you're going to hear an audible click and you're going to feel the firearm seat inside the holster. To me, that's priceless because in the situations I've been in in my life, I don't have time to remember all these steps to get the firearm out when my life depends on it the most. So if you haven't looked at the reflex, I strongly encourage you to do so. I know I have, and I'm glad I did.